Have you ever broken a bone, sprained an ankle, thrown out your back, I don't know, had an ingrown toenail, something, I know that's kind of gross, but have you ever had something like that happen to where you, you do something, break your leg, break a bone, anything like that, and it's just crazy how much it affects the rest of your life. It's crazy that you can have a paper cut, and if you work with your hands the rest of the day, it's just like, oh, it's so annoying, it's so frustrating. Or if you stub your toe or you break your toe, and they've said if you break your pinky toe, man, that just throws off your entire balance, and then you can't really walk. And you know how that is. It's crazy when one small part of your body is not working well or is hurt. Or maybe have you ever been sitting down for an extended period of time, and you try to get up and start walking, and your leg or your foot's asleep? And that's so, it's so it's such a crazy feeling. It's, it's almost like your leg or your foot just didn't show up. Or they're just saying, uh-uh, uh-uh. And you can't even walk. I know one time that that happened to me, and I had no idea my leg was asleep and got up and started walking and tried, and my leg just kept buckling, and I looked like I, I was having a seizure or something, and everyone was laughing. It was pretty awesome. But it's crazy that when one part of your body isn't working, isn't functioning properly, that it throws off the rest of your body. It throws off the rest of your routine. It throws off everything. And what's interesting is that it's the same way in the church. That each local church, Paul says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, is a body and is everyone who is saved and been saved by Jesus through His work in their place, by grace from Him, through trusting in His performance on their behalf, they, we, are a part of the body of Christ. Though many members, we are one, and we have different functions, but we're just like the human body, that we work together. Some are eyes, some are ears, some are nose, some are hands, some are feet. All of that, and Paul says that we are all to work together for the common good, and that we are all needed, we're all gifted, and it's the same way that in your body, that if something's messed up, or someone just doesn't show up and won't do their job, or is hurt, that it affects the whole body. So, this is, this Sunday at Ecclesia Muskogee, our sermon is called, Jesus Works Through His Church. Jesus Works Through His Church. And this will be in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 going through verses 12 through 26, and then we'll end up in Romans chapter 12, verses 3 through 6. So if you want to check it out in, in your Bible before tomorrow, before we gather for worship, that's great. That's where we're going to be at. We're all about Jesus. We invite everyone, anyone and everyone to come, gather with the church, come check it out, see what Ecclesia Muskogee is all about, and you'll see that we're all about Jesus. It's good news for all of us. So come check it out. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, um, Sunday, March 10th, 515 West Oak Mulgee. Bring it on. As Christians, we got to wrestle with what it means to be the church, not just with our ideas of it. We got to wrestle with questions like what constitutes a local church? And what does it mean to be the church? Jesus and His Church is a sermon series where we'll biblically explore what the church is, why it exists, and what it means for us.